Seeking Alpha CEO Interviews is a premier destination for discussions with the top leaders in the public markets. We're totally say in the time where this is very focus, in focus in terms of the battery supply chain in the US. So out of that pocket that you mentioned there of funding the 3 billion, which is for battery material processing and recycling. Interestingly, if people can read the passage in the bipartisan infrastructure bill, it talks about the stipulations being that material has to come from within the US and return to going back within the US itself. So a lot of this progress on the supply chain, say for example, GM with POSCO, building a cathode facility in the US, that's all immensely helpful because we don't want to be doing here is recovering materials that have to ship them to China long-term. So we are exactly right in the box, if you will, for that sort of scope. Um, now that program is just getting set up. So we'll see how it's administered and the process associated, but that is extremely encouraging uh, for us because one of the things that's been missing in the landscape for several years is I think an understanding or a linkage between different parts of the supply chain. So meaning the solution might seem to be, hey, we need vehicle manufacturing and cell manufacturing. Well, actually you also need the other parts of the jigsaw puzzle because if you don't do that, they're gonna be recovering material that has to leave. And just folks may not know who are watching, but 90% of the material that goes into a cathode, cathode is the positive terminal in the battery. The cathode goes in the battery cell, then into the pack in the vehicle. 90% of the input material that's called precursor is and will be made in China. Catch the full interview of this conversation on SeekingAlpha.com under CEO interviews or by typing their stock ticker into our search box. Subscribe to CEO interviews and get the episodes delivered straight to your inbox.